Welcome to day two of the Herdwick Sheep Challenge. Today's video will show you step by step how to make the legs and tail for your sheep. I am happy for you to make items from this tutorial for personal use or to sell. All I ask is, if you share what you have made, that you add a note to say that you made it from a free tutorial from the flock and add a link to the flock's Facebook group. Please also be aware that the tutorial and its content is protected by copyright and must not be copied or shared without prior permission. Thank you. Let's get started. First, we are going to make the legs for your sheep to match the diagram. For the legs, you will need your shaping needle and your core wool. Start by pulling off a piece of core wool approximately 15 centimetres long by 3 to 4 centimetres wide. Then, holding both ends firmly, pull outwards to break the length in half. Stack the two halves together, then holding both ends again, pull outwards and restack. This will ensure that your fibres are spaced more evenly. Next, lay the fibre on your felting surface and tightly roll it into a log shape. Then stab along the centre, turning as you go to stop the fibre unravelling. Once the shape is holding nicely, leaving one end of the log shape fluffy, we are going to start to stab the other end inwards to create the base of the leg to match the diagram. The base of the leg needs to be a flat circular shape like the base of a cylinder. Alternate between stabbing the fluffy ends inwards to form the circular base and stabbing around the end of the log shape, turning it as you go. Pressing the base firmly with your fingers can also help you to ensure it is nice and flat. Taking time to make sure it is flat will help your sheep stand up correctly at the end. To help the felting process and to help keep the leg cylindrical, you can also roll it between the palms of your hands. As you felt the leg, keep checking it against the diagram. The felted section needs to be the same length as the diagram, with the fluffy bit carrying on past it. We will use the fluffy section to attach the legs to the body later in the week. Once you are happy that the length of the felted part of the leg matches the diagram, keep stabbing to firm it up. As you stab, keep checking the length and the width of the leg against the diagram. Add more fibre around the leg if needed, stabbing it in place. Keep going until the leg matches the diagram and it is firmly felted. As the sheep we are making have no wire armature, you will need to make sure that the legs are firmly felted so that they are strong enough to support the body of the sheep.
Repeat these steps for the other three legs. Once you have made all of the legs, they should look like this. Next, with your finishing needle, stab all over the felted section of each leg to smooth the surface and finish firming it up. Next we are going to make the tail for the sheep to match the size and shape of the tail diagram. You will need your shaping needle and your core wool. First pull off a small piece of core wool. Then pull this apart and stack it a few times so that the fibres are more evenly spaced. Next lay the fibre on your felting surface and tightly roll it into a thin log shape. Dab along the central section to stop the fibre unravelling, turning it as you go. Next, leaving one end fluffy to attach to the body of the sheep later, stab the other end inwards to make the rounded tip of the tail to match the diagram. To help the felting process, you can also roll the tail firmly between the palms of your hands. As you felt and shape the tail, keep checking that it matches the shape and size on the diagram. Once you are happy that the shape and size matches the diagram, Go over the felted section of the tail with your finishing needle, smoothing the surface and firming it all up. Your finished legs and tail should now look like this. You can set these aside for later in the week. Remember, if you would like to be in with a chance of winning the prize for taking part in the Herdwick Sheep Challenge, please upload a photo of your finished work on the video thread for today in the Challenge Facebook group. Your next video will be available tomorrow at 9am UK time and we will be making the body of your sheep.